Здравейте и добре дошли на всички. Днес ще имаме едно малко по-различно интервю, имайки предвид, че ще е на английски, така че много се надявам нашите прекрасни зрители да могат да разберат какво си говорим с прекрасния ни гост в момента. Uh, and his name is uh, Marco Zero. Uh, introduce yourself. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, you, George. And thank you to because you invite me here to watch what happens here in the food court and to watch uh, different shoes and good shoes. Thank you. Uh, so, can you tell the audience uh, in general what do you do? Uh, who are you for those who may not know you? Okay, uh, I'm uh, mm, I'm the coach from the national team of Serbia. Thank you. Uh, I'm coach from 3x3, 3x3 uh, basketball team in UB. Also, uh, UB last year was the first team in the, the world, and also our national team Serbia last year make a, made a, a gold medal from the World Cup and, and Euro Cup also. Uh, I am here because uh, 3x3 Sofia and uh, Bulgarian Federation invite me to come here to make some training camp with uh, Bulgarian players and that is uh, why actually I am here in Sofia. Nice. Is it your first time in Bulgaria? Uh, when I was a young, I was in the Nesebar. And, oh, uh, wow. yeah. That is a that, sunny beach. Uh, sunny beach. Yeah. In, in that period, that is a, so popular in Serbia, and if I can say that, is so cheap for us to go there yeah. uh, to to spend holidays. Nice. And how <clears throat> did you have any experience with the Bulgarian players for now? Uh, in the first World Cup 2012, when when I was a player, uh, I met uh, Bulgarian girl teams. Uh, but next year, two th sorry, that same same year, 2012, I play against Bulgarian Bulgarian team in uh, Romania and some challengers. Mm -hmm. And we have a funny story because here in that camp, coming that guy who play also in that tournament with me, he's a, he's a continue to to, to, to to be a, a player. He's a old, but he play. <laughs> I'm stopped three years ago. How did you start getting into basketball? Ah, uh, I have a four, play, four, four friends. Uh, we play. We played all the time in the summer when we finished the season four and five. We played three x three, go to the court and some neighborhood in the Novi Sad and play three x three. And in Serbia, it's so popular uh, to, to 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 organize tournament in the summer to make some money in that period, 2012 and early, uh, to. Uh, Take some money if you win that tournament. Take some money, and you you can go to Nesebar to to, yeah. to holiday. <laughs> to treat yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we start like that. But 2012, FIBA start to started to organize uh, a professional 3x3 league, and we are pioneers of that that, that sport. Yeah. And every year, how FIBA grow up from from the organization, we grow up how players, and we started to be uh, professional. Uh, do only that, uh, move in 505 and and start to, to practice 3x3 and to play 3x3 on the season. Yeah, nice. So from the beginning you were like mainly 3x3? Yes. yes. Nice. Yes. And did you ever think about doing like full on 5 on 5 or stuff like that? No, no. Uh, I don't know. I, do, I, I didn't have a good, uh, good career in, in 5 on 5. I, have a lot of injury and I, I try to be professional in Final Five, but is, I'm not good in that. I'm not good level in a, that kind of competition, Final yeah. Five. And because of that, I move into X3 and I recognize with my teammates, okay, come on, we, we push that and give 100% for well, ourselves to, 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 to push that and to grow up how good professional 3X3 players and we do that. Yeah, which is amazing because, like in the past, as you said, like ten years, the sport just gets bigger and bigger, right? Yes. yes. 2070, sports start to be start to be Olympic, and after that, everything is a grow up. After 2017, everything is a grow up. A lot of federation uh, invest a lot of money in, in 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 organization, in players, in coaches, and now is a now is a perfectly, if you ask me. They, they can be better and better, but 
is perfectly to, 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 to they give you a lot of to you can be professional and play only three steps. Yeah, well, that, that, that's really nice. Um, and now speaking about like cause the whole idea for our store is sneakers and stuff like that. When you started playing, uh, do you remember what type of shoes you were in? What did you like and what did you actually play and if you couldn't afford uh, I have a story. Stuff you I, I have a story about shoes before that. Because when I was a young, my parents is not so so rich and they don't have, we don't have options to buy a couple of shoes. Shoes from the basketball, shoes from the school, shoes from the uh, walk. And I have a one shoes from everything. Yeah. And uh, first of first of ma uh, months after the uh, after I buy shoes, uh, middle th in uh, they broken. But because we don't have money, uh, I need to, to 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 have that kind of shoes and. That's it. Um, my first shoes, I played first tournament 2012 World Cup uh, in the Kobe 4. And after that, I have that shoes in my apartment. And uh, after that, every Kobe shoes, when he give, uh, when we have options to buy some, some new, sh new Kobe shoes, I have that, that, that kind of shoes. Uh, I don't know, I feel good in that, that kind of shoes. I like low, low, low shoes from the basketball and I enjoy to play in that, 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 that kind of shoes. Yeah, which is your favorite Kobe in general? Maybe Kobe, Kobe, Kobe 4, yes. Oh, nice. Did you get any of the, because um, the past couple of years, like one or two, I think, they started uh, re-releasing yes, updated yes, versions. Yes, We have a fight in the team who who, who start to, who, who first buy that, 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 that shoes. But, okay, we don't have options to, 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 to buy them, but when we find way how, we, we, we buy that, that kind of shoes. A lot of my teammates like, like. Also, what I like, I like Jordan. Uh, most important, most uh, I, I, I bring that 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 shoes in Sofia. Also, I like to to to, to spend time in, in that shoes. Uh, is uh, uh, Jordan Four also, but they uh, make made uh, from the Quai 54. I don't know. Do you heard that that uh, that tournament in Paris? Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I have that kind of shoes, black one with the, some three colors in the. It, what model is it? A Jordan. Four? Jordan Four, but oh, wow. but but I think that limited edition. I think that not have options to buy buy that. Oh no no, it's like every year it's a different shoe because we even had like a Jordan Six I think here from the Quite Fifty Four stuff, and they're, they're always like really awesome ones. Yes. I, I really want to get my hands on a. There's a really awesome Jordan Two. Uh, from the Quai 54, which I'll put a picture somewhere up on screen, which is really nice, but they still go for like yes. a lot of money, especially since now Jordan 2s are like picking up steam. Yes. And for, from what I heard, uh, like you're a fan as well, but we <laughs> didn't have your size no, from the said, Jordan yeah, yeah. 2. It is different, uh, 12, 12 and a half or 30, depends on the models, but, uh, but uh, if you have some options, some sometimes, to visit that kind of tournament, Quai 54, that is a most, I, I play 3x3, that is a 5x5 five five tournament, but that is a most, uh, uh, I don't know what I say, a lot of, a lot of good things uh, about that kind of tournaments and a lot of people go inside and watch and promote. Uh, when I was there, uh, Carmelo Anthony and Scotty Pippen, uh, next year when I invite that, that tournament, uh, uh, need to, Michael Jordan need to come, but because of a lot of people want to watch. It's not safe for him to go yeah. inside, and they didn't. Uh, but he didn't. But it's a crazy. A lot of people watch that. And oh yeah, it's it's the biggest street ball tournament in the I world. Think, I think I think in Europe for sure. I don't I don't know what's happening in the U.S. in uh, uh, but in Europe for sure it's yeah. a big tournament uh, from five five. Is there anything else that you would wanna uh, talk besides that? Uh, yeah, we have we have uh, last year. We have a fun, funny story about that, because when I was a player, all the time they, because I have a beard, 2060 I started to have a beard, and, and after that I never shave, and uh, we started to talk about that, uh, if we won Euro Cup, World Cup, and uh, FIBA final tournament, uh, I shave and I uh, uh, cut my hair, but we didn't do that when, when I was a player. Uh, last year, when I was a coach, I, in the beginning of the season, I said same. If we won everything, 
from the from the in the ear. Uh, you can do what you want to do with my hair and my, my beard. And players won uh, World Cup after that Euro Cup and from the national team. And also my team, Team Moob, won last tournament in the season, FIBA uh, final tournament in Abu Dhabi. And they want to shave my beard, but my Storovic, uh, my teammates, and now my player, he didn't want to, to shave me because I don't know why. Uh, only, only he, he. He grew fond of the beard himself. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, probably, yes, probably, yes. That's the story about, about shaving. After that, I never. You were like, man, I, li yeah. I like how this looks. <laughs> yeah. I might keep it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much for uh, joining us right now. It was a pleasure meeting you and I hope you have fun in your stay in Sofia right now. Thank you so much and I want to say everybody who go to Sofia, who will go, who will come here to come to food court and to find some shoes. It's a good story.